So I'm Miss Bird and I teach religious studies at A level. Miss Drake teaches one side of the course and I teach the other. Um, it is much more in depth than at GCSE. We cover a huge range of topics and it's, it looks a bit different than you study at GCSE. We study it under three main um, course titles. That is ethics. Now ethics is all about discussion and debates over ethical issues. We will consider things such as euthanasia and you'll be studying four ethical theories and how they help you make the moral decision. So much more than just religious views. So the other part of the course is theology, which Ms. Drake teaches. Um, you will study religious aspects of belief, um, the context of this in history and society. There's a bit of feminism in there as well. We then both teach the philosophy side. Now philosophy means love of wisdom and this is where we don't really have an answer. We'll be discussing things such as does God exist? Um, do we exist? Does the conscience exist? Um, does problems like evil and suffering, does that cause um, religious believers to question their faith? So a lot of discussion. You will develop critical and analytical thinking skills and you'll use these to prove your arguments in the 40 mark essays that you do. Now, RS has links to sociology, to history, to law, to psychology. We do a bit of geography in there as well. It really is an all-rounded link to other humanities subjects. But we also study things like medical ethics, um, and it's very much going to give you a basis for a career in many, many different fields. Um, it's a lot different to GCSE because we now take the older sort of ethical theories and we apply them more to modern day situations. It's useful because we can go and apply it to the real world and also each sort of area that we study makes a really good topic of conversation at um, any point and it's really interesting having debates and taking it on different points of view. There are loads of different skills that you can apply to different areas of life. So for example, learning the evaluative skills when we look at ethical theories can be applied to uh, professions such as law or when you go into um, areas such as journalism, critical thinking you're able to use those evaluative skills effectively in those situations. I like religious studies because it teaches me critical thinking skills that I can apply to my other subjects and helps me form well-balanced arguments in an academic sense.